Time to Hunt. Welcome to Time to Hunt. G'day guys, here we are at Bridge Park Aerodrome, flying back into Boyd's this morning. I know Little Red's pumped. So good, isn't it? We don't have to walk in. <laughs> just in a happy place. <laughs> You've been pumped about this for the last couple of days. So Maverick's a, a busy man today. He's bringing a couple of his mates in and they're camping by the strip. Incredible the, uh, the depth of the pumice here. 
whether that's from the Taupo eruption or eruptions after that, I don't know. But it's amazingly thick. It's like, jeez. It's probably five metres thick in here. Pretty impressive. Hope Taupo doesn't go boom while we're in here. So that's my first uh, trout fish for many, many years. It's meant to be a few, few around here, so we'll keep trying over the next few days, see what happens. Sling the hook. Good there, little red. Yeah, going well. It's just after four o'clock. We've kind of reached a bend in the river, and we've I reckon we've got to now climb up here, get around this bend, and we should be able to get up to the burn or Charlie's old strip. You, you sound really confident. <laughs> You're going, yeah, we're on the right track. <laughs> we're going to go around this bend and we'll find the burn. <laughs> Hopefully. Nah, we're, we're fine. We're just about there. So I'm just um, scouting away. I think there's a nice enough terrace up here. Ah, I can see trout. It's unfortunate bloody rain's coming in. It's five o'clock. We've found a flat spot we're going to camp here for the night. So this will be our little base for night one. Whoever says that dogs are stupid. Well, guys, a little red spotted a half decent stag. The weather's now set in, it's a bit crap. I'm a wee bit pumped. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> as she should be. Um, he's way the hell over that way, sort of 900 yards up on a big face. Dinner on, eh? What's for dinner? It's a little red surprise. <laughs> Sounds bloody tasty to me. <laughs> Here's a little tip of the trip. We've got these new awesome lightweight bags from SL Outdoors. So I'm able to put bloody cords for cameras, little first aid kit. Got my in-reach and spare batteries in that one. And for a coloured blind man like me, they're nice and bright and I can find them. Fantastic. <laughs> nice to be in here while she's uh, quite steady out there, isn't it? Right. Lights out. Frustrating. I've caught glimpses of Emma's stag out on the same. Phone.
face. But that sun's just coming straight in and I can't pick him up in the bloody camera. <laughs> it's good to know he's there. we just got to get the conditions right and put a stalk on him. I think tomorrow's meant to be better or we might try this evening. Just stay out of it for now. Bloody hard to keep the, uh, the camera still. Well, I'm a bit bored. Got half a day to kill, so I'm gonna pop over to the river, sling a hook, scare the local trout population. The sidekick's coming. Come on. fishermen out there. This fishing game's not easy. I saw a couple of nice fish in this pool last night from up top there looking down into it. But we've also seen some professional fishing guides on the river with clients so maybe they're very educated fish or I'm just doing it all wrong. Oh shit. Saying that I can see one swimming over there now. I don't know if you can see that. See if I can present my spinner to that bugger. Well, that's killed a, an hour or two. 
55 bucks for a three day license. I suppose a bit of fun. It's not easy. But I suppose you're meant to be fly fishing. I'm sure spinning works, but maybe it's a bit like bloody hunting. Probably should be doing it first thing in the morning or in the evening or something. But honestly, I have no idea. It's not my game. But that was quite relaxing. Might go back and have late lunch, maybe a snooze, and then we'll go and look for this bloody stag about 3 o'clock. Try and stake him out. He's been out on that face twice, so maybe if we get over there within 300 odd yards, we might be able to get a poke at him. Awesome. boots after doing the river crossings and jam and sandals yesterday just to keep them dry especially for this big stag boots <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. ass kicking boots <laughs> <laughs> so we're in position now it's steak out time it's about up as five the red saw the stag about six o'clock last night winds dropped off conditions are bloody good now the shooting platform's not the greatest, I'll admit that, but we're in this shitty scrub and there's not a lot of options here. There's no nice clay pan to lie on or anything like that. So we'll see what happens over the next hour or so. It's 20 past six. We've got lines feeding on the face over there. There's possibly four of them. Lines, yearlings and fawns. Still no sign of the big boy. That's awesome. But it's not the one that we want. <laughs> stag is poked out on our faces. They're bloody hard to see now. I think it's time we probably start to mooch back to camp. I might come straight back here in the morning, have another look. There's your little stag, I think, it's not. He's got a little bit of velvet. It looks really tasty. Four hundred and fifty yards. Polexed him. Absolutely polexed him. Dial 450. I think I was getting... It was 439 true ballistic range. Right, anyway, 450 did the business. We've got a meat deer to take home. Now I've got to go and get it. It's, four, it's a long way, so I better get on with it. Woohoohoo, success. So I've had to just um, talk VRB into where the stag is. So 450 yards up there somewhere. Um, 
I've heard good girl, good girl, Zoe. So excellent, well done. Um, obviously you're running out of light really quickly, but really good result. Meat on the table. Mmm, tasty. We might even know how to fry something up in the fry pan. Yum. <laughs> Good girl, yeah, you found it, hey, we'll eat meat tonight and tomorrow and the next day, yeah, yeah, good dog, okay. Home sweet home. Sweet. Well, it's Friday the 1st of March. Bloody good frost. Suddenly it feels like autumn. End of this month they'll be roaring in here for sure. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful place. This. So I'm going to head back to the lookout that we were on last night. Just park up there for a couple of hours. Hope this uh, mist burns off fairly quick. It's just a peach of a morning. Where else would you rather be? It's now 10 to 8 and I still can't see the hand in front of my face basically. There is a reason that Little Red's smarter than me and stays in the pit on these frosty mornings. Can you hear her snickering back at camp? Probably on her second coffee. Waking up to a pretty misty morning. Um, sun's trying to break through, so fingers crossed um, that'll come out and things will start moving around. What I said about Little Red staying in the pit, I think we keep that to ourselves. Rising up. Yep. She's a beautiful valley. Beautiful. I think the deer have probably gone to bed now. We're probably gonna go back, potentially pack up, head back to Boyd Lodge for the night. Because there's meant to be gale westerlies tomorrow, so I want to get his plane up early and uh, get out of Dodge. Anyway, we've really enjoyed our time here. It's been very, very special. Little Red's still out on the hill. I don't think she'll be too far away. Um, this trip, we've got a, a brand new MSR. We had planned to take it to Fjordland last year. But um, bloody cyclone got in the way, so we didn't go. Um, this is a two-person, I think it's a hubba hubba. I believe it weighs 1.2 kilos. It is freaking awesome for carrying around on trips like this. Broken camp about half past one. Head back up the river. Jeez, it's a good hot day today.
just like that we're almost back at the estuary so. 